Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you. This video is viewable in 360 degrees. That means that you can view it however you'd like. You can also watch this video on the Sliver app, available for Android, iOS, and on the web. If you have a VR headset like the Oculus Rift or the HTC Vive, you can get the application on the Steam Store and watch it through Steam. Just search for Sliver. This is also how you can watch the Intel Extreme Masters Tournament in Oakland live this weekend. ESL One New York was the first esports tournament to feature a 360 degree viewing experience. So I thought as we get ready for the Intel Extreme Masters in Oakland, we could use the recordings to watch some of the best moments once again. And to answer that question, yes, I will be at IEM Oakland in person. And full disclosure, I'm working with Sliver to help bring 360 degree entertainment to esports. And this video is sponsored. That's how I got all this fancy footage. First, let's check out the semifinal match between Navi and Liquid, the match that pitted Simple against his former teammates. This round, definitely a highlight of the tournament, ended in a suspenseful one versus one where Simple pulled off his classic trick. They go very low utility here at the end as well. Flamey, this is the guy they don't want to run into. Easy kill for him, it's free. They've still got to clear him out and there it is. Down into a one-on-one, -on -one. good trades, but it's Simple and he's already here. Right outside, smoke gonna go off. Simple on the other side, he pulls out the pistol. He's got the P250, close range. It's a one-shot nitro. He's got a triple, he fakes it once and just goes to check the window. This is all about timing. Nitro does have a model of another smoke, so it could be really rough for Simple to actually get through this. He's gonna throw the AWP and oh my God, Simple, what is happening? What he even is that? The other semi-final match between SK Gaming and Virtus Pro was quite possibly the best series of the entire event and a great indicator that SK Gaming and Virtus Pro would both become cemented as the top two teams in the world. While Game 2 on Overpass was as close as could possibly be being taken into triple secret overtime, it was the deciding rounds of Game 1 on Mirage that really kept me on the edge of my seat. Working his way up to that position too. He's got a bit of support over there, but it's way in the palace, so he's essentially alone. If Bialy is able to get this, FNX is going to check for it though, then he'll grab that kill early on here. Virtus Pro start off with a disadvantage here, and they're going to have to rotate quickly, but there's so much pressure in mid, they're going to have to be careful of that. Snacks though, next up to bat here, missing FNX initially, but he grabs that kill, and so did Neo. Cold and Fur respond just as much in power though, but there's Neo again in mid. He's got to watch out for Cole, but it's a triple trade. Pasha finds another one, and this goes into a 1v1. He's got a huge advantage as Taco's down at 28 HP. In the meantime, Taco, he's going to go for the plant, but Pasha wasting no time. Taco over... This round, we have to go over and watch again. After pushing it into overtime, we have an absolutely thrilling conclusion to this great matchup. Let's just say Olaf Meister would be proud of Cold Zera, and Summit 1G would be jealous, as well as the entirety of Team Cloud9. These are very specific references to past games. I'm not throwing shade. These are Counter-Strike jokes. Here to make sure that nothing else is going to rye. Yeah, I mean, you can see Snacks is willing to challenge CT spot. He knows this is where Fallen is. His health doesn't matter against the AWP, but look at how passively Fallen's playing it. He wants to let his teammates get into a better position. Indeed, Taco's going for a very, very long flank. So Fallen and Snacks almost meeting, but there's the bomb plan. There's the peak. A win for Fallen. Meanwhile, Taco still on the flank just now in T spawn. Cold as well, looking for someone to change their positioning from the VP side. Bialy has the most HP in this last two remaining VP players, and he's got a, it's gonna come down to timing. Here he's go, he's gonna check it again, and he wins it. Big fight one, Fallen and Cold Zero together now, trying to get into this bomb site. It's map point. Going for this retake, and Fallen looking for more. They spent a lot of time on this retake, and there's Whoa. a win. Jumping shot, it's not planted for Bialy, and that Molotov is far too late. Cold Zera is going to get it. That's map one for SK. They're gonna take it for The first game of the grand finals between Virtus Pro and Navi on Cobblestone was a complete slaughter. As soon as it seemed like Navi was finally starting to get some points on the board, Taz, the oldest and wisest of professional players, managed to make a stunning showing during an eco round. It's going to be Seeds that tries to slip in undetected as a result, but the smoke still conceal his entry from the archway. Taz has found one. It's flaming will fall, and there's the answer from Seeds as he just waits patiently. Snacks walks into it. Simple. Follow it up, but... Hold on, it's not done just yet. Low HP, Taz has picked up another kill. Bombs in the open, they've got a cross to grab it, and that means Simple doing so. With 8 HP though, he can't pour, pour to go. AK picked up. Taz, is he gonna pull this back as well? He is! Virtus Pro is getting every single clutch, and it's...
And finally, the winning round brings us yet again to A-Site Mirage. This was the most important tournament win in the history of Navi. It was the first time they were able to place first in a tournament of this caliber. So Virtus Pro have a fantastic opportunity with a one-man advantage to get a bomb down, to retreat into post plans. Flamey does have an auto sniper, but no one's showing at this point in time and on a retake. He can't be the turret with it. It becomes almost impossible to try and run and get the angles. It is still a Tech-9, though, for Snacks as Neo falls, which starts to turn the favor into Navi's. A seized in, in the open, nearly gets caught toward the sandwiches. Pasha, and he will go down eventually on the repeat, but not he before is. Snacks gets one. Flamey's on it, you called it. They're on the defuse. It's a championship inside smoke. No! Thank you folks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this 360 degree experience. I'm the War Al and I still continue to bring you some new, strange, exciting, and interesting videos. He's been in this situation so many times in this set, but he's failed because he's played it too passively time and time again. And now he holds back once more. He's gotta be careful sneaking his way back up. There's the first one and he initially just goes right for the strike. Takes down Coldzera. It's all on Taco. And here we go again. This is the second time he's been up against.